Hi, I'm Khaleesi. I got to take photos of the Traveler during our journey through Genshin Impact. So I'm going to share my slideshow with you and tell you all about our journey. I did use the camera feature in Genshin Impact, so if you don't want spoilers, now's the time to back out. We met a ghost during our journey. We came to this land that had these huge, tall, bluish, I don't want to say mushroom plants. They were very beautiful. We came across these creatures. They kind of remind me of crocodiles. We came to this village where we were hearing about the children were mysteriously going missing for days. And then they would suddenly just show back up having no memory of what they had been doing and where they had, been, had gone while they were missing. We met this girl by the flower shop and she confessed to us that she has a fantasy about Master DeLuke giving her flowers. And I could say I can't blame her. I have that daydream as well. <sighs> And then we came across these places with something called withering zones. They were filled with corruption and they were destroying this forest. And we came across these huge rivers and there were these boats that we were able to take to travel across the rivers and explore the world. And as we traveled by boat, we eventually came across this beautiful lighthouse. And we reached a harbor. And then we met this man and he said it was fate that we met each other. I feel like this is the first time we actually found a dog with their owner because so many times we find dogs all around the town and they never see their owner. But here was their dog with his owner. And we were just so excited to find this place with all the little cats. So we had met this girl at this village where the kids had gone missing and we went camping with her and she's the one who taught us about the withering zones and we were helping her to clear them out. So the village with all the missing children, we believe they came to this cave and we were hoping to rescue those children who had gone missing and to discover the truth on what was happening. And then I found the small child and I thought they were trapped inside this little bubble, but it turned out these little creatures were putting their bubbles of protection around the child. And then our friend said she was very tired and we didn't know what was wrong with her because we didn't seem like we had done much. She used to travel around the forest and she's tired. Something's going on. And it turns out it was more than just her feeling tired. She had some strange illness and something was really wrong with her. And the creatures put her in a bubble until we were able to find the cure. We were sent to this cute little beautiful village be in hopes that the creatures that live there would be able to help us cure our friend and we were given this magical instrument that we could play and it had different abilities and this guy's daughter wanted to get training on how to become an adventurer and that magic instrument we received with the special abilities one of them was that when you play a certain music it allows you go to go into dreams and see the creatures when we go into that dream world, there are so many little strange creatures all over the world. And there were so many of them. And the creatures told us that we needed to go across the land, getting the creatures to join this festival and collect these flowers in order to cure our friend from her illness. I just thought this looked like a cool creature. We were investigating this massive robot. We believed this was an entrance to be inside of the robot we got inside, we met somebody who was researching that robot. And this creature wanted us to research the guy who was researching the robot. And there was this tree, and we were able to go inside of the tree's dreams. And inside the tree's dreams, there are these creatures. I guess they're kind of like nightmares, and we had to get rid of them. We read these guys some poetry that they loved so much they began to dance. Kaya stopping to smell the beautiful flowers. And then we met this poet who used to live in Mondstadt and moved far away and preferred the quieter area and it helped him be able to create poetry. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'll watch more. Maybe the video on the left. Maybe the video on the right. If you're on a mobile device and you don't see any options in the hands, it's in the description.